It's a very big step because our ultimate goal from the beginning of this tragedy where our CMP were involved was to provide the answers to not only the family but to the public who was observing what was happening. It was the worst crash in Manitoba's history, resulting in the death of 17 seniors. And now the RCMP's massive investigative file into the Carberry bus crash has been forwarded to Crown prosecutors to determine if charges will be laid. We needed to get this right, and I'm confident that we did. And I promised the family and the public that we could have accurate answers, and that took time. The crash, which took place on June 15th at the intersection of Highway 1 and Highway 5 near Carberry, Manitoba, rocked the community of Dauphin and the entire province. As the seniors were on board a private charter bus traveling to Carberry on a casino outing. Delivered just days before the one year anniversary of the crash, Superintendent Rob Lawson, lead of the RCMP's Major Crime Services and Acting Criminal Operation Officer, briefed reporters on the investigative package sent to the Manitoba Crown Prosecutors, saying it included things like forensic reports, witness statements, and vehicle analysis. He says those who were involved in the investigation as first responders have been affected like never before. Even though throughout our careers we attend many tragic scenes, but this one was uh, honestly above and beyond anything that we can comprehend. Superintendent Lawson, however, stressed there are supports in place for those who responded to the scene and says there were three main takeaways the RCMP has a year after the crash. They include to rely on its operational standards, the importance of building relationships amongst emergency personnel on a unified response, and to establish strong relationships and connection with the families of those involved as early as possible. He told media while RCMP may never be able to speak with the driver of the bus involved in the crash due to the severity of his medical condition. They said his account is just one component of the massive file. And while there is no timeline as to when they'll be hearing back from the Crown, he expects any decision will be made sooner than later. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.